Welcome back to Utah Trakes. If you've been interested in recumbent trakes at all, you are going to know the name Catrake, one of the industry standards for affordable and high quality American made trikes. In today's video, we will be going over all the Catrake models that we carry and what's so unique about each of them. So let's get right into it. Catrek has been making trikes in Florida for 24 years now, and we have been selling them at Utah Trikes for almost just as long. Catrek has continually refined their manufacturing operation to become a great representation of the Made in the USA logo and a worldwide recumbent trike leader. Their factory manufacturing operation is an example of efficiency with parts and materials coming in at one end and a finished trike kit pumping out the other. Catrek's real success, though, can be seen in their proven trike design and engineering. Across the Catrek lineup, you will find trike models for nearly every type of rider, and no matter which model you choose, you will get a well-built and excellent handling trike. In this video, we will discuss the current 2024 Catrek lineup, and we'll try to help you determine what trike is the best for you, and your riding style. Unlike the manufacturers in the automobile industry, Catrek does not release their trikes with specific model years. Instead, they roll any model changes into their ongoing continuous production as improvements are made. Here, we'll be discussing the latest versions available. Instead of organizing the models by price or the year they were introduced, we'll be grouping the trikes by their frame types. One of the key things that makes a Catrek look like a Catrek is their very distinct frame designs. There are plenty of variations of Catrek frames, but they are all built off of the initial space frame technology. The first three trikes that we'll be talking about today are all very similar and are built on the most simplified version of the space frame. But before we get into that, what is a space frame? The space frame is Catrake's solid frame design, where the seat is an integral part of the support of the frame. You'll notice in the Catrake space frame that the front of the seat is welded directly to the front cruciform bar. The rear of the seat actually becomes part of the triangulated support of the main frame. The pocket, the Expedition, and the Catrake 700 all fully incorporate this original space frame design with a thick seat frame that does not have an adjustable seat angle, but instead has an integrated seat angle that is part of the frame's design. The key benefit of this design is that the frame is exceptionally strong and rigid. Because the seat is attached directly to the frame, the force of your pedal stroke is transferred directly into the main frame, giving you a more solid pushing off point benefiting your pedal power and demonstrating this frame's incredible power. The other key advantage of this frame style is that the trike is simple and lightweight compared to the other frames that we will be talking about later that are decked out with all sorts of different features. Leaving the classic space frame is a simple and compact frame style that you just can't beat. Now let's talk about each of these three trike models specifically. The first trike we'll look into is the cat trike pocket. The pocket is the smallest cat trike, typically marketed as a solution for smaller trike riders. But let's take a look at that and see what it really means. The pocket has a cockpit area of 31 inches, which is the narrowest of all the cat trike models. Even though it's a bit more on the slimmer side, we take a look at leg length and see it is actually the same as many of their other trikes. This means that the pocket isn't just great for smaller riders, but also a good option for many slender riders, as you can accommodate the same x seam as Catrake's other large trikes. Because of this smaller build and skinnier wheel track, the Catrake pocket comes in as Catrake's lightest trike, weighing around 33 pounds. This makes transporting and moving your trike around a lot easier, while also weighing you down less as you ride. And with 20 inch wheels all the way around, it's a good trike for fluctuating speeds and comfortable rides. Now let's take a look at the key features of the Catrake Expedition. The Expedition or Pocket are both very similar trikes in appearance. The Expedition is like a larger version of the Pocket. The Expedition is approximately 2 inches wider with a longer wheelbase of 43 inches and a more reclined seat angle. The biggest difference between these trikes besides size is that the Expedition has a 26 inch rear wheel versus the Pocket's 20 inch rear wheel. What does this mean for the rider? Well, the 26 inch rear wheel provides a higher gear range and in some cases a smoother riding experience. The larger rear wheel also lends itself particularly well to a touring style of riding, letting you keep a more consistent pedaling cadence and makes keeping pace a breeze. If you want to learn more about this trike and also see it compared directly with the Catrag Pocket, you can check out our video on the topic. A link will be in the description in the top right corner of the video. 
Finally, for the last of our space frames, let's discuss the Catrike 700. The 700 is an evolution of the Catrike's original speed trike. Over time, it grew to have a larger 700C rear wheel and is now considered to be Catrike's racing model and one of the fastest production trikes on the market. Also featuring a significantly more refined seat compared to the Pocket in the Expedition. To provide more aerodynamics and efficient power output, the 700 has additional welded support between the seat frame and the seat rails. This makes for an even stiffer ride with minimal power loss while pedaling. In Catrike's latest version, they have improved the seat mesh to help transfer this additional stiffness to the frame by adding additional straps across the mesh. The Catrike 700 is also equipped with high pressure narrow Schwalbe Durano racing tires, as well as being durable and puncture resistant. The large 700 rear wheel provides the least rolling resistance of any Catrike due to its thin racing tire setup. Built with so many speed efficient features as well as being lightweight, it's no doubt that the Catrike 700 was made to race. The next two models in the Catrike lineup that we'll be discussing are the Catrike Villager and Catrike's newest model, the Catrike Max. Both of these models feature fully reclining and adjustable seats with Catrike super comfortable seat cushions instead of the mesh sheets on the last three trikes. These two models show the next evolution of Catrike's space frame technology. You'll see that the front of the frame is still integrated into the cruciform section with a support towards the middle of the seat on the bottom of the frame, also connecting the seat directly to the frame. Where things are changing on these models is that the rear part of the seat is now connected to the base of the seat with a hinge bolt on either side and a locking adjustable bracket on the rear connecting it to the rear of the frame. This allows the seat reclining angle to be adjusted by changing the position of the adjuster bracket. These two models also feature the highest seat height of all the Catrike models, but that is not where the similarities between the two trikes end. First up, we have the Catrike Villager, which has been Catrike's most popular model for quite some time now, and it's no wonder why. The Catrike Villager features a higher seat and a wider cockpit, ensuring maximum comfortability. The Catrike Villager earned its name from its primary target demographic of riders. The everyday rider who just wants a comfortable and ergonomic casual trike. The Villager is a favorite among a wide variety of riders, but is especially popular among older riders that are attracted to the higher seat height and ease of entry. The Catrike Villager and the Max both feature a different style seat mesh than the previously covered space frame models. This new seating arrangement is a 2 inch fully padded seat cushion. There is a primary seat mesh that stretches across the seat frame tubing and then a thicker foam pad which velcros onto the seat mesh to hold it securely in place. The seat on the Villager is also in a much more upright position, whereas the Expedition and other space frame models feature a classic reclined position for their seating. The Catrike Villager is much more focused on being a comfortable vehicle for the everyday rider. So, the seat is higher off the ground and the seat position can be adjusted to a variety of more upright positions. For gearing, the Villager features Catrike standard bearing of a triple crank set in the front and a 10-speed cassette in the rear. It has 20-inch road tires all around for comfortable pavement riding. The Catrike Max is Catrike's newest trike. The Max and the Villager are both very similar trikes each boasts elevated upright seating while also being wide and comfortable for casual riding. But the Max starts to differ when we take a look at the spacing and dimensions of the trike. Once we check it out, we can see that the Max has an even wider cockpit and a wider seat than the Villager. This makes riding as a bigger rider much more enjoyable, giving you the room you need to sit comfortably as you ride. And to accommodate for a bigger rider, the Max is Catrike's first trike with a weight limit of higher than 275 pounds. That's right, the Max can accommodate riders up to 400 pounds. And with the wider seat with larger spacing between the handlebars, larger riders will feel much more comfortable on the Max than any other Catrike model. Catrike has made other changes with the Catrike Max that have helped to provide the higher weight limit. These changes are wider tire rims across the board and a change to Catrike's 20 inch rear wheel by switching to a through axle rear hub to strengthen the frame. The Catrike Max is also the only model to come stock with Catrike's very own exit assist bars, making this already easily accessible trike as easy to access as can be. And to differentiate itself from all the other Catrikes, it comes stock with a 1-speed gearing in the front and 11-speed gearing in the rear, giving you a simplified riding experience and leaving you with a great template for a motor if you are looking to upgrade. If you want a more in-depth look at the Max and the Villager where they are both put up against each other, we have a video about that and you can find that link to the video in the description in the top right corner. 
The next two trikes that we'll be talking about share their adjustable seat with the previous trikes, but they also add a folding hinge in the base of the frame, allowing you to transport and store your trike easily. One of the nicest features of Catrix folding mechanism that isn't found in other folding trikes is that the seat is not required to be removed during folding. Instead, the seat back itself is folded forward completely where a Velcro strap secures it. And then the rear wheel folds in towards the bottom side of the trike, tucking in between the two front wheels, providing a very compact arrangement. All Catrike folding models feature similar caster wheels located near the hinge so you can move your folded trike easily as well as a kickstand that is used to tuck the train while the trike is folded and prop your trike up, as you expect a kickstand to do. The caster wheels make it easy to roll the trike around in its folded state, similar to how you would take a piece of luggage to the airport. After a design change in 2014, the Catrike Trail became the first Catrike to have a folding mechanism. Being able to fold changed the game and revolutionized how riders could transport and store their trikes. Not to mention the folding hinge is engineered to not compromise the frame's integrity or riding performance in any way. The Catrike Trail is similar to the Villager in build and feel, just with the added benefit of a folding frame. Like the Villager, it has 20 inch wheels all the way around, which is perfect for saving space while folded. The trail also comes standard with 30 speed factory gearing as stock. Compared to the Villager though, it is lower to the ground with the seat height being as low as the pocket at nine inches, while still giving you a more upright seating position. As a folding trike, the trail is particularly well suited. If you need a trike that takes up the minimum amount of space or need a convenient way to carry multiple trikes, this is perfect for you. Next up, we have the 559. The Catrike 559 is like the trail's bigger brother. The two trikes are virtually identical in every way except for what's behind the seat. You'll notice that instead of a 20 inch wheel in the rear, the Catrike 559 has a larger 26 inch rear wheel and a through axle rear hub. This larger wheel in turn raises the gear range than what is found on the Catrike trail. The 559 takes all the portability and practicality of the trail and turns it into an efficient touring trike. Upgrading the wheel allows the 559 to have more consistent pedal speed and higher range of gearing to get you where you want in the best way possible. And because of this, the 559 has become the go-to trike for many daily commuters, due to it being able to maintain speeds on flat grounds and downhill slopes. If the 559 is the trail's big brother, the Catrike Dumont is the fun rich uncle. A folding frame and adjustable seat are impressive, but what if there was even more to spice a trike up? That's where the Dumont comes in, with all around trike suspension. For this trike, take everything that the 559 is in now add suspension and you've got the Dumont. This is Catrike's flagship trike and it is their only model with suspension, featuring a totally different spindle design. The rear suspension features a single pivot swing arm with a tunable RockShox air shock in the middle behind the and under the seat. At the axle, there are two full inches of travel. At the front of the trike, Catrike uses elastomer compression wedges they call Celastos on both wheels. The rear air shock is more for absorbing large bumps that will make your ride uncomfortable, whereas the Celastos are there to minimize the smaller vibrations, especially the ones that can lead to hand fatigue. There's a lot of engineering put into the spindle design to ensure that the suspension travel is fluid while locking out any stray motions. Along with the added suspension, it is still a sturdy and quick trike taking what was already a great touring trike with the 559 and turning it into a real touring machine. And to date, the Catrike Dumont is the only Catrike that has suspension. Now that we've gone through what trikes Catrike offers and what sets them apart from each other, let's have a look at the similarities between them and what makes them all uniquely Catrike. All Catrikes are made out of the same base material, 7005 aircraft grade aluminum alloy. This creates a super light but durable frame, making them some of the lightest weight trikes on the market to date. Being lightweight is definitely a good thing too, because it allows these trikes to be fast without as much weight dragging them down, and makes for much easier transportation. To make it even better, all of these trike frames are built in the United States straight from the Catrike factory in Florida. And for the boom, all of the Catrike models use the same padded and boom and boom clamp system. The boom itself is made of an extruded aluminum with number markings on the side, and is keyed with a slot on top for easy alignment and adjustment. Not to mention the quick release levers making quick adjustments a breeze. All the Catrix have a standard length of the boom that can be extended or pushed into, but if the boom is too long and you can't adjust it correctly, Catrix booms can be easily cut to size and we are glad to do that for you here at Utah Trikes. All the Catrix have a consistent handlebar design as well, which is great for a consistent steering method across trikes. 
a special feature that makes all cat tracks unique is that they all have direct steering. This means that the handlebars are connected directly to the kingpin that steers the front wheels, giving you a riding experience that is controlled by shifting your forearm side to side, making a more intuitive and direct way of steering. Another unique thing about Catrake's handling is that the handlebars are also two pieces, allowing you a lot of dimensions of adjustment. You can adjust the horizontal steering arm where the vertical handlebar rests inward or outward from you, and you can loosen the vertical bars and move them forward away from you or more towards your body as well as you lean them in or out, perfect for whatever position is more comfortable for you. As is the case with most Trike manufacturers, Catrike shares the same steering spindle across their different models. This is the case with every Catrike model, with the exception of the Dumont, which as previously mentioned has its own suspension spindles. Catrike uses a quick release 20mm axle across the brand, making the removal of the front wheels relatively easy too. Now we can't talk about Catrikes without mentioning the ECAT upgrade. Catrike offers an integrated electric motor option for their trikes, but we've been adding motors to Catrikes for about 17 years now, and Catrike took a little bit longer to offer a factory motor option. Unlike many other brands out there, they choose the perfect model of motor to complement their trikes. The Catrike ECAT option is built around the Bosch Active Line Plus mid drive motor system and converts the Catrike into a Class 1 e bike. The ECAT system uses a custom boom with direct mounting for the motor. In addition, there is a rechargeable battery mounted under the seat on the right side. If the ECAT factory gearing includes the 11 speed tram, wide range cassette in the rear, regardless of which model is featured on. Paired with the Bosch motor integrated single chainring up front, this is the perfect amount of gearing for most riders out there. Starting last year, the ECAT models now come with a supernova lighting kit integrated into the motor's battery system. This is a super bright and useful riding accessory, and the first time that Catrack has offered a lighting setup. As a Class 1 motor equipped trike, the Bosch motor requires pedaling input in order for the motor to activate. The torque sensing motor adds assistance in a very smooth manner, no matter how hard or fast you are pedaling. You can choose how much assist you want the motor to give you by choosing the power level on the integrated display system. Outside of Catrike factory options, we also offer a lot of custom add-ons that we have been doing for over 17 years. Since we've been working with Catrike for such a long time, we have been able to make a large number of UT custom trikes and quads based off of their trike models. We've gone from just adding electric motors on the Catrikes all the way to giving trikes bigger tires and better gearing, like in our Annihilator series of custom trikes, added flat tires to all different models, including the Dumont for ultimate off-road ability, and not to mention changing whole frames and converted cat trikes into our Cat 4 and Fat Cat 4 quad. With such a great and simple build of trike, cat trikes really are the best trike for customizing while still delivering a well-rounded product. Cat trikes amazing engineering makes a wonderful first trike stock or not, and can have so many things built upon it to fit you and your ride. Deciding which cat trike is the best option for you should be easier now, but it's hard to go wrong with such a great variety. After working with Catrike for years, we can proudly say that we love each and every one of their trikes, and we're sure that you will too. As with any trike we offer at Utah Trikes, the specific configuration and setup is up to you. You can visit our configurators for each Catrike model to discover a wide array of options. If the stock colors aren't what you're looking for, then don't worry, because our UT Custom Color Shop offers over 40 custom colors, so you can make your trike uniquely yours. And that's the Catrike lineup. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching. We hope this video was informative and that you were able to learn a little bit more about Catrike and the trikes that they have in their lineup. If you own a Catrike, be sure to let us know what you think about it down in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. If you want to see more videos about all things trikes, make sure to hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with our weekly videos. And with that, remember to relax, spin fast, and ride trikes. Harold out. Position in a much more upright position. Did you say much more upright position? Okay. The next two models in the Catrag lineup that we'll be discussing. The next two. The Catrag Villager features a higher seat and a wire cockpit, ensuring maximum comfortability. Recline position for their seating. The Catrag Villager is much more focused on being a comfortable vehicle. Are you cool? Reggie! Reggie was getting a vehicle. Check it out. We can see that the Max is a trike. Believe it. This larger wheel is large. Just go up a bit.
You are correct. The pocket 